children go where I send thee? How will I send thee? Oh, I'm gonna send thee one by one. One for a little bitty baby that was born, born, born in Bethlehem. Children go where I send thee? How will I send thee? Oh, I'm gonna send thee two by two.
Welcome to worship at Leap of Faith Church. Welcome to worship at Leap of Faith Church. Welcome you to church with us this morning. Welcome to worship at Leap of Faith Church. Welcome to a Leap of Faith Church. Welcome to worship at Leap of Faith Church. Welcome to worship at Leap of Faith Church. Welcome to Leap of Faith Church. Merry Christmas. I'm Virgie Holbrook. I'm pastor of Leap of Faith Church. Welcome to Christmas Eve at my house. My soul cries out with a joyful shout that the God of my heart is great. And my spirit sing of the wondrous things that you bring to the ones who wait. You fixed your sight on the servant's flight, and my weakness you did not spurn. So from east to west shall my name be blessed, could the world be about to turn. My heart shall sing of today you bring, let the fires of your justice burn. Wipe away all tears, for the dawn draws near, and the world is about to turn. I am small, my God, my all, you work great things in me. And your mercy will last from the depths of the past to the ends of the age to be. Your very name puts the proud to shame and to those who you would for yearn. You will show your might, put the strong to flight, for the world is about to turn. My heart shall sing of the day you bring, let the fires of your justice burn. Wipe away all tears, for the dawn draws near, and the world is about to turn. From the halls of power to the fortress tower, not a stone will be left unstone. Let the king beware, for your justice tears every tyrant from its throne. The hungry poor shall weep no more from the food they can never earn. There are tables spread, every mouth be fed, for the world is about to turn. My heart shall sing of the day you bring, let the fires of your justice burn. The dawn draws near and the world is about to turn. Though the nations rage from age to age, we remember who holds us fast. God's mercy must deliver us from the conqueror's rushing grasp. This saving word that our forebears heard is the promise which holds us bound. Till the spear and rod can be crushed by God who is turning the world around. My heart shall sing of the day you bring, let the fires of your justice burn. Away all tears, for the dawn draws near, and the world is about to turn. My heart shall sing of the day you bring, let the fires of your justice burn. Wipe away all tears, for the dawn draws near, and the world is about to turn. glad that you could be here with me with my family this evening if you haven't left your name in the comment column would you do that now we'd love to know who's with us this evening we'll have a chance to welcome you online if you are new to leap of faith tonight if you're new to leap of faith and haven't uh, been subscribing to our newsletter go all the way down to the bottom of that column and leave your email address on the form there I'll be happy to to, to see that you are um, start receiving that that Thursday night emailed newsletter and if you'd like to support ministry at leap of faith church please be sure that we would count that as a great gift on this christmas eve go all the way to the top of the comment column you can click the button there it's easily done to leave an offering 
Again, if you would leave your name in the comment column, the names of those worshiping with you as well, uh, we would love the chance to welcome you to, to worship tonight by name. And you know, if you'd like a little bit more privacy, you could text me your names, 903-821-4505. Welcome to Christmas Eve at my house. Summer, would you light the candles? You know, during the, during the season of Advent, uh, many churches, many families have Advent wreaths and light a different candle, one each, one each Sunday throughout the four, the four weeks of Advent, the weeks leading up to Christmas. We were fortunate at Leap of Faith this year to have church members come in different times into the church building to, uh, to do Advent readings and to light the candles on our Advent wreath there. Um, we'll, we'll be showing you those videos. Maybe you've seen some of them week to week, but I think you'll enjoy seeing them all together on this Christmas Eve. Hi, we are Gina and Dave Lawson. This is the first Sunday of Advent, and we're lighting the candle of hope. Lord Jesus, please send your spirit of hope into my heart. Amen. Today is the second Sunday of Advent. Today we light the candle of love. Would you please pray with me? Lord Jesus, please help me to love others with your love. Amen. We are the Hewinsons, and this is the third Sunday of Advent. So we're lighting the candle of joy. Please pray with us. Lord Jesus, you are the joy in my life. I love you. Amen. It's the fourth Sunday of Advent. This is the candle of peace. This is Austin Moody, and I'm Meredith. Um, Lord Jesus, please make me an instrument of your peace. Amen. Greg, would you do the reading, though, for the center candle for the Christ candle? You bet. Now, Summer, light the Christ candle as we celebrate the birth of Jesus. Thank you, God, for the miracle of lighting up this world by sending us Jesus. The light shines in the darkness, his light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. Now let's pray. Thank you, God. Thank you, God, for stories, for stories that entertain us, for stories that teach us, for stories that inspire us. Thank you, God, for stories that are new to us, for those we're hearing for the first time. We thank you, God, for stories that are old and familiar, for stories we've heard so many times before, but we love them still. It is a storytelling time of year, God, a time when word trumps electronics and we turn in faith listen to stories poignant and puzzling and funny, stories like Rudolph and Frosty and Santa Claus. But most especially, God, we thank you for the story that's come down to us of your son's birth. Thank you for its simplicity, for its dignity, for its truth that Jesus was born to live among us. Plant that truth deep in our hearts so that we carry it with us always the truth that love came in the flesh to live with us, the truth that the Spirit of God's love will never leave us. Help us, God. Help us find ways to tell that story again and again until everyone who's feeling lost and lonely, afraid and aching, has heard the story and come to believe in its truth. Help us, each one of us, embody the truth of the story of God's love, come to live with all people everywhere. Help us embody your love. God, we ask you to hear this prayer along with our prayers for all those who are celebrating tonight and all those who are sorrowing. And hear us now as we pray together in the way that Jesus has taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Well, of course, the main story everybody wants to hear tonight, it's the Christmas story. This year we have a brand new way to tell that story. I hope you enjoy it. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. 
Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged, and who was expecting a child. Now the birth of Jesus the Messiah took place in this way. When his mother Mary had been engaged to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found to be with child from the Holy Spirit. Her husband Joseph, being a righteous man and unwilling to expose her to public disgrace, planned to dismiss her quietly. But just when he'd resolved to do this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, for the child conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. In that region there were shepherds living in the fields keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them and the glory of the Lord shone round them and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Don't be afraid for see, I'm bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favors. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that's taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, as had been told to them. In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men came from the east, came to Jerusalem asking, where is the child who's been born King of the Jews? For we observed his star at its rising, and we have come to pay him homage. May God bless this retelling, this rereading of the Christmas story. I hope you enjoyed that retelling of the Christmas story. We enjoyed very much making it. And now again, let's pray. God, to those who are mourning tonight, to those who are wondering whether they'll ever be merry again, God, please give them the sure knowledge that your arms are around them and that we too stand ready to help them ease their pain. Give them the certainty that you're holding close the ones they're missing tonight. To those who are ill, those who are wondering whether they'll ever be strong enough to enjoy good times again, God give the confidence that this too shall pass and that new life, wa new life waits. To those, God, whose hearts are heavy with worry tonight, show them in clear and unmistakable ways that when you came into the world, you came bringing power and peace for just such a time as this. For those who are out of work, out of money, nearly out of their minds with wondering where this is all going to end, open a path through their troubles and give them a bright future. To those who are separated tonight from those they love, let them find joy in sharing their love with others nearby who need love. Let them find joy in serving you, 
who so loved the world that you endured separation from your Son for our sakes. Thank you, God, for sending your Son to us. Give us grace to receive him into our lives and welcome the gifts that he offers us. God, we ask you to hear this prayer and the prayers of each one worshiping this evening, those prayers that are spoken, those that are whispered, and those we can't even put into words. We are praying in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you again for being with us on this Christmas Eve. Um, I remind you of a couple of things if you've joined us late and want to put your name in the comment column. I sure hope you'll do that. If you aren't receiving our newsletter, go all the way down to the bottom of the comments, leave your email address there, and I'll be happy to start sending you the newsletter. If you'd like to support ministry at Leap of Faith Church, all the way to the top of the comment column, just click the button. It's an easy way, an easy way to give. And of course, if you are considering, if you are considering church membership, uh, give me a call, 903-821-4505. I would be so happy to be your pastor, happy just to talk through the question of church membership with you. And if you've never been baptized and are thinking about making that faith decision, uh, give me a call. That's a, that's a conversation I would love to share in with you. Um, I hope that this worship service has been meaningful to you. I hope that it's enhanced your Christmas Eve. I hope that you'll push that share button and share it with others who might enjoy it as well. And I can, and I can imagine that, that you've been wondering whether in this service we would, we would be doing uh, a part of the service that many have found meaningful in Christmas Eve services over the years in all different places and all different all different churches and all different homes, sharing the light, sharing the light of Christmas. Of course we'll be doing that. Of course we will be sharing the light of Christmas. I wonder if you have a candle nearby. If you don't have a candle, maybe you have your phone, maybe you have a flashlight. Um, see if you can find well, something, something that you could use to share the light of Christmas. Uh, some will be singing Silent Night. And take the light, whatever it is, candlelight or, or iPhone flashlight, um, whatever, whatever you have to, to make a light. Take it out in your front yard, on your front porch. Um, and maybe you could sing Silent Night. Silent Night to your friends, Silent Night to your neighbors, Silent Night to those who can hear you. Silent night to those who will never hear you. You just sing it to the stars. Share the light of Christmas. Share the light of Christmas. Sing. 
worship. You know, we'll be having worship services. It's just day after tomorrow is Sunday again. That would be Sunday, December 26th. We'll be worshiping here online at 9.30 a.m. Central Standard Time, just like we do every Sunday. And then we'll be in the sanctuary at 11 o'clock. It's 5615 North Farm to Market, 1417 in Sherman. We'll be, um, be worshiping in a, a devotional service and then taking cookies and flowers out to those who are homebound during this Christmas season, those who work uh, on Christmas weekend. It's going to be a lot of fun, and I hope that you can join us to do that this Sunday, December 26th. Now, go out into the world. Go out into the world and share the light of Christ's love. Go in peace, my friends. Go in peace. Frustrated brother, see how he's tried to light his own candle some other way. See now your sister, she's been robbed and lied to, still holds a candle without a flame. Carry a candle. 
run to the darkness, seek out the lonely, the tired and worn. Hold out your candle for all to see it. Take your candle, go light your world. Take your candle, go light your world. We are a family whose hearts are blazing. So let's raise our candles and light up the sky. Pray unto our Father in the name of Jesus. Make us a beacon in darkest times. Carry your Run to the darkness, seek out the helpless, deceived and poor. Hold out your candle for all to see it. Take your candle, go light your world. Take your candle, go light your world. the hopeless, confused and torn. Hold out your candle for all to see it. Take your candle, go light your world. Take your candle, go light your world.